Hi, welcome to another CRG scoreboard tutorial. I'm FTP and today we're going through some of the advanced overlay features that I've been working on lately for the Down Under Derby TV coverage. To start with, you'll need some teams loaded into the scoreboard. You can refer to my previous demo on how to do this uh, that's on the Down Under Derby TV YouTube channel under NSO.TV. Uh, but uh, I've loaded some teams in here already. Uh, these are the teams that we've been using for 5x5. You'll see in here that they have a logo selected here from our logo drop-down box and they have alternate names for the overlay set which is the uh, name used for the team on our overlay and in the colour section here you will find that the overlay colours are set to the team colours that we're using. We'll take a look at the overlay in just a second. So we've got a couple of teams loaded in here all with overlays drop back to here now the important thing to remember in all of the new versions of crg is all of the magic is unlocked with this new start game button so we're going to start a new game it's as simple as picking the two teams you want so we'll pick inner west versus uh let's say srdl for fun start game give the scoreboard a moment to reinitialize all of its data you'll see team logos and names appear and we're just going to open a new tab and load our overlay control panel. So starting from the, the main view of the scoreboard, you'll find our new overlay under overlays, an interactive overlay, and the admin page. The interactive overlay is the overlay you'll use in your production equipment to, to bring in the scoreboard feed. The admin page we actually give to our announcers so they can control uh, exactly what's shown on the feed at the time. So we'll take a look at that first. Uh, let's just clear the overlay and turn off a few elements. So by default, you have a perfect green screen uh, and nothing is displayed by default. Now, uh, this is because early in the production, you may not want things, but when you're ready to go live, you can bring in the scoreboard and clock. And we have a bunch of panels you can bring in as well. This includes team rosters, which nicely animate in, including logos. Uh, and all of the controls can be keyboard controlled as well. So number two brings up the roster for team two, SRDL. You'll see they're sorted in reasonable order and the bench managers are specified at the bottom. Uh, again, as I mentioned before, the logo in the team setup, that's where this logo comes from. And the overlay title is where this long title comes from. You'll notice the team titles are used in the smaller box at the top. Uh, we also have some penalty boards. Uh, if you have a look at another tutorial we have on down under Derby TV under NSO.TV, there's a tutorial there on how to use the penalty features of the scoreboard. Um, and uh, we'll be using that for 5x5 as well. So let's bring up a penalty board for that team. And we also have some lower thirds that we can switch to where you can enter some text. Uh, so let's enter. One of our 5x5 commentators and bring it out and as you can see there's our lower third title you can add that to a quick select list for later use if you'd like if it's one of those commentators you want to use regularly during your production uh, and you also have here a convenient auto skater generator so at 5x5 we do post game interviews and this is as simple as picking the skater who's going to be interviewed we'll pick uh, low blow oreo in this instance automatically colors it to the team colors uh, for her team puts in the team title and her derby name of course um, that's most of the features of the new overlay there is a points per jam we haven't actually put any points into this uh, example yet but this shows a bar graph of points across uh, let's just put a few points in uh, so start a jam add some points stop the jam start a jam add some points start a jam add some points And one more, let's just set a lead in this one. And just a couple of points. And now if we take a look back across at our points per jam, you'll see a bar graph of points per jam and a little star showing which jams that team got a lead in. As you'll notice, the points per jam for the previous jam are shown on the small overlay bar along with the total score. And if jam and names are selected, either using the uh, scoreboard assistance screen which you can find a tutorial for again on down under derby tv or using the jammer select boxes here on the normal control panel you will notice that when we start a jam let me just clear this overlay when we start a jam and we have jammers turned on when we start a jam with jammers turned on jammer names will slide out in team colors from the scoreboard as well 
there'll be some new features soon that include other lineups uh, but uh, and there'll be some tutorials on how to use those. The last feature we have here is kind of a communications uh, feature. Uh, we have multiple users of this screen in our production setup, and the announcers are the primary controllers as, of it, as I mentioned before. If our replay operator wants to tell our announcers that something's coming up, they can cue the cue alert button, which just flashes a red light for the announcers to know that probably don't bring up a stat screen at the end of this jam because we've got a replay already queued for it. So that's just a, a convenience kind of notification of like, hang on, we're going to do something at the end of this jam, so don't control anything else from this panel. Uh, that will auto disable at the start of the next jam in the stable release. It doesn't quite do that now. I'd like to thank you once again for watching a, a quick tutorial of the features of our, our new overlay. Uh, just remember the important ones there are the start new game that unlocks all of the new features. If you want to use penalty boards, you will need to uh, take a look at our penalty tracker and possibly our scoreboard assistance screens, which are available there and there. Uh, these are handy for picking jammers, but there are existing tutorials available for them. So thank you very much for uh, watching and listening uh, and uh, see you on the track. FTP out.